This little thing, which is currently looking for satellites and not finding any, is a little Android-based sat-nav, and it was sent by Alan, who said, Please find close the sat-nav I emailed you about. I bought it about two years ago. It worked great for a year, then started to get slow finding satellites. Now doesn't find any. It would only work when the battery was fully charged, so with that, I can fix anything attitude I opened it up. Well, what can I say? The masking tape is 100% original, as is the aluminium foil, and completely undisturbed, may I say. Notice the corrosion ring round the corrosion round what looks like the RF section. Also check condition of the video connection, even though the hole is blanked off in the case. Sorry I can't supply screws, the whole thing was going in the bucket, though I did think about using the display for a Raspberry Pi. Then the wife suggests you might like a look. Excellent. So, uh, it is not finding... It occasionally gets a wee blip uh, of satellites, but this area should be quite well exposed. It's usually quite good for that. But nothing. Let's turn it off. So I shall hold the button. Shut down in 10 seconds. Shut. Okay. So, it's had some screws in the back. Spudge, where's my spudger? Where is my... There's my spudger. Let's gingerly open it. The smith thing may be stuffed with lithium battery inside. And then gingerly open it. In the style of uh, jerry-rig everything without bursting all the ribbons. Okay, right. Ah, no. It's true, it's got masking tape, it's got bits of foil and aluminium tape everywhere. Okay, so let's detach the keyboard. The keyboard, incidentally, is a, a resistive keyboard. That means it's only got a... It's only got a little four-wire ribbon on it because it just it basically measures the resistance from here to here and there to there, where you press the contact. And I like resistive keypads. Them, you can't gently swipe them. They're not very sensitive. They're very much a single point, but they're oh, in fact, they can use a stylus. There is indeed a stylus. I like them because they're precise. I, I have problems with my big hands, particularly when the skin's hard when I'm like doing real work. Oh, this isn't even screwed at all. Oh, there's the there's the uh, antenna for the satellite with uh, tape on it. Do you know what really helps putting tape over the front of it like that. I wonder why they did that. Is that not the tape that's supplied initially when you get it? This appears to be ceramic with a very precise uh, layer on it, but little laser cuts into it. There is corrosion. Oh, there's corrosion everywhere. Oh, that's not jolly, is it? Are these caps... Hold on, let's try and pop everything off. I shall zoom down a bit. Zoom in down. I should... Well, I was going to say I'll pop the... Uh, I'll pop the little Lego off, but uh, there is no little Lego... There's a little copper strap onto the battery that just capacitively couples to the case, apparently. What's that about? I suppose maybe that's enough. Most of this foil will probably be to help with the sat-nav, avoid sat-nav interference. Oh, maybe it's because covers are missing off the top of this. Has this been... Uh, that's odd. Yeah, I wonder if the cover's been removed off this for some other reason. I'm tempted to remove the connections here, but I do kind of want to try this again afterwards. I shall temporarily remove... Hold on one moment, please. I'm just going to remove uh, the battery temporarily. Well, the battery is disconnected and the connectors, well, the covers, the screening cases are all off, revealing... Uh, a bit of corrosion inside, but not major. You can see the outline of where the metal has touched metal in this. It's got, got a slight colour. There's also a slight discoloration there, which uh, coincides with this power supply circuit. I wonder if that's giving problems. But once I put the battery back on, I'll check that for heat as well. Uh, so there's the antenna. On the back of the antenna is the dedicated reception circuitry. So I cleaned around that with isopropanol and a little uh, toothbrush that I used just for cleaning with isopropanol. So if there was any contaminants in here, that may have been a factor. There's nothing really obvious, though. Then again, I'm not looking at it with a super ultra microscope. 
Uh, so I shall pop this circuit board in here, nudge that little switch back. There's a little switch that pushes against a button on the PCB. No uh, screws to hold this in, but that's all right. I shall put the ribbon cable back in. Oh, this is going to be footry. This is going to be very footry. Big fingers. Pop the little flap up. I should put the screening cases back on, shouldn't I? But I want to actually see what heat it gets up to without them. Oh, this is very, very irksome. Partly because I can't really see because the light's all coming from that direction. So when I actually start putting this in, it blocks uh, vision. But these connectors are always so tiny and they always want to uh, fold up in awkward ways. Theoretically, this should go in quite easily. It is not going in easily. This could be, this could be a bit of a chore. It's good. It's gone in, and locked down. Hopefully that is in the square. Right. Tell you what. Let's get the uh, solder connections, the battery connected back up. I've temporarily used a bit of a tape to cover the positive, so I shall put the negative on first. Being careful not to shorten out. If you do throw something like this out, I recommend. Uh, discharging the battery as much as possible first. The speaker connections come off. Both the speaker connections come off. I'm not really bothered about that. Uh, discharge the battery as much as possible before throwing them out. Because that way, uh, not, there's nothing to burst into flames. Because uh, it's not the lithium in these batteries that's a problem. It's the energy density they contain that's the problem. Let's uh, get this cable around here. Carefully get the positive cable without shorting it onto the other cable. Always thrilling, soldering right next to the other polarity terminal. Particularly if it's got the ground plane that travels right next to the connection there. Battery getting hot? No, it's not. This is good. Right, let's uh, fold this shut. With all that metal tape in there. That is just an absolute delight. And we'll press the start button. Will it still work? It's working. And we'll let it boot up. It shouldn't take too long to boot up. I get the feeling it's a very, very low spec processor. Navigation. I go primo. I shall zoom out just a little bit here. This is where it might actually, if it's got maps on board, it probably doesn't. But we'll see what happens. Show map. Old Bridge of Tilt. Okay. Let's go to satellites. Available satellites. Zero. That's not terribly helpful. What if I just, I'm just going to take it off camera momentarily. No. It should really have picked them up. I mean, it does take a while sometimes to pick up. And also, the satellite antenna is pointing down the way. Now, I wonder, I should get my thermal imaging camera and just check that circuit board out, just in case there is a problem with the uh, regulator on that board getting extremely hot. Oop. It's just gone back to the main screen. I'm not sure that was supposed to happen. Did I touch something or if I just crashed it? Also, of course, I could be jamming the uh, the satellite signal badly by just the fact there's loads of uh, screening missing. I've got my thermal imaging camera here. I'll just wait for it to boot up. It's got a computer in it as well. It has to boot up the flur. And what is it seeing? It's seeing areas of heat. It's not super mega hot. 41 degrees Celsius there. This may be out of focus because I'm focused down on there at the moment. But that is the processor. This is a sat satellite chip, which looks uh, cold. What about the stuff in the back? Ugh. The hottest thing on this PCB at 53 degrees is this chip here, the ARM chip, which I'd expect it's the main processor, isn't it? Okay. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, since we've got this out and we've everything flopping about, just shorting against everything here, 
tiny battery. I think they could have been a bit more generous with that. Let's angle it up. Uh, oh, the screen is completely dead now. This is not a surprise. Can I reboot it? Is it going to play at all? Is it going to be completely dead or have I shorted something out? Or is the key, the screen cable a miss? No, it looks all right. I, I'm not keen about all this file though. Tell you what, let's... Uh, nothing. Right, tell you what, this is the joy of these things. It's not happy, is it? Let's press the little reset button over there and see what happens. Oh, have I just killed it completely? Right, tell you what, just give me one moment and I'll let I'll try reseating this cable and tell you if I've killed it completely. Well, it's finding satellites now. I mean, it's not getting a lock, but it's not doing too badly. Accuracy none, because it's not got enough signal strength on these. But I have a sneaky feeling that part of the problem with this may actually have been a dying battery, because, you know, as they get older, they sometimes go a bit higher impedance. The current it's drawing at about 4 volts off the power bench power supply is 600 milliamps, which is probably reasonable enough for for one of these devices. I'm just looking at all where all the tin foil is. Um, is it going to gal lock and anything? No, it's still showing the... It's still looking for that signal, but then it would. It's just not quite locking. Um, I thought it might have got that here, but that's also probably just the fact it's... It's got various other issues, that corrosion, all the metal covers off will actually be blocking the signal. Tell you what, one moment, I'm just going to put the covers back on and we'll see what happens. So it still says it's kind of looking for the satellite signal, but to be fair, it has discovered it's on the Isle of Man and it is in Ramsey somewhere and has said, I think we're going to need a ferry to get here. You're absolutely right, you are going to need a ferry to get here. Uh, but there we go, or should I say, get off the island and over to the original destination. I get the feeling all that foil inside was quite important, and what this item really needed was a new battery that could actually hold up to the current, because the voltage seemed to be dropping quite low on it. And also that foil, if, it, if the adhesion had actually dropped off, it was kind of needed as a sort of large screening area to actually be able to get uh, a decent lock on those satellites. But it's good that it's actually locked in three of them. And it is occasionally spotting another one. And occasionally dropping the other ones as well. They're yo-yoing in and out. Typical of that sort of... Uh, how that the, these tablets used to be in the very early days of the sort of sat-nav facilities. But uh, interesting enough, I think that is the diagnosis. That maybe the battery was just getting a bit weak. And the voltage was dropping a bit. And that's why it was really getting a better lock when the battery was fully charged. And it had that slightly higher voltage. But also the integrity of the foil and the, the fact it has had moisture in it at some point is never going to help. But uh, interesting, worth taking apart, it is, uh, it's staggering. I'm just going to turn this off before I start messing around with it. It's staggering how powerful things like this are. The, you know, that you get this, uh, it, everything fits in such a small board. Okay, yeah, I know the Apple stuff is even tinier. It's just down to a strip now. And the Android phones now, it's a section like that. It's really been crammed into a very small area indeed. This is getting fairly warm. That's that power supply and processors in there that are getting warm. Uh, but there we go. Worth taking a look at. Uh, interesting enough and certainly worth taking apart and exploring inside. Also uh, interesting, that this, it's got this metal backing here. It's got that fairly nice galvanized texture on it um but there we go a classic cheapo um sat nav unit 